Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review for the Revit Legacy Gore-Tex jacket. Now the jacket is currently available in four different colour waves. Black as shown here with Andy, uh, in black and silver, black and red and a high visibility neon yellow. In black and the yellow options it's currently available in sizes extra small through to four extra large but in the silver and red colour options it's only available up to three extra large. Okay, the outer shell of the jacket is constructed from various materials. The bulk of the jacket is made up from a 750 denier PWR shell, which is basically Revit's take on Cordura. Traditional impact zones are constructed from a 1000 denier Cordura, which is actually three times more abrasion resistant than standard nylon. Its 210 degrees Celsius mountain point means it can withstand pretty much any temperature produced by the friction of sliding down the road if you come off your bike. The entire jacket is wax coated as it gives it a nice matte finish and it's very pleasing to the eye. Uh, this model is actually Teflon coated as well as Teflon is water and dirt repellent. So if you look after your jacket with a Teflon coat and it should keep it nice and clean for you for many years of happy riding. Let's uh, have a look around it in a bit more detail. If we take a look at the front of the jacket first, up top we have an adjustable collar. This allows that tailor fit. Uh, Revit obviously understand that not all of us are the same body shape, although we may have the same chest. You know, arms are different, waists are different, necks are different, and, and this allows that custom fit uh, throughout the whole range. This can actually be hooked back as well using the loop and hook. This will increase airflow down the front of the jacket during summer riding. If we go down from there, there are two reflective panels. Now, Revit have actually welded these on rather than stitching them on because stitching them can actually make the fabric weak and uh, when you're paying this much for a jacket, you don't want it to be weak. You want to know it's going to do a job it's made to do if you come off the bike. Just beneath that, we have two large horizontal air vents, again for increased airflow during warm weather riding. And then there's two substantial waterproof pockets to the lower of the jacket. The zip is actually located on the underside of the storm flaps. You've got that kind of double layer protectiveness. They are waterproof. And as you can see, the zip is also waterproof. Pretty much get everything in there but the kitchen sink, as your, your missus would say. If we take a look at the arm of the jacket, from that angle there, you should be able to see three adjustment points. You've got your traditional weight adjustment, one on the bicep, and a press stud adjustment to the forearm. Again, Revit understanding that we're all different sizes. You've got a traditional cuff closure, and then on the top of the arm, a further optional vent to each sleeve, and again, another welded reflective panel. To the rear of the jacket, the first thing you can see is a reflective panel to the neck area. This will increase visibility during low light or nighttime riding. There are two large exhaust vents. Obviously you've got all that ventilation at the front. You don't want that air to be trapped inside the jacket. So these vents will allow that air to exit before it heats up and, and keep that circulation through the jacket. You can just about see the, uh, the hinge points for the weight adjustment system. And at the very bottom you have a large welded reflective panel. So anything behind you should clearly see you when you're riding. Right, let's have a look at the inside of the jacket then. The main closure system, as with most jackets these days, is Velcro with a storm flap and uh, one large zip. The first layer you can see there is a detachable thermal layer. This thermal layer actually has an integral pocket on each side, unlike many jackets these days that just have a hole there for you to access the shell's internal pocket. This has its own. If you remove the internal layer, You'll see that there is again another integral pocket to each side of the jacket. And just at the bottom, you can see the orange tab there. That's a pull cord adjustment for the waist. This jacket actually comes with a six inch connection zip, so it can be zipped to the matching trousers. It's supplied with CE approved armor to the shoulders and elbows. And it also comes with a pocket for a back protector should you choose to fit one. So that's pretty much everything covered with this jacket. The features that we've gone through make it very popular with adventure riders and tourers. But I'm sure Andy will agree when I say that this jacket really does have something to offer everybody, whether you're riding a Fireblade, an R6, a Daytona, a Speed Triple, Dragster, you name it, this, this jacket will benefit you as a rider. Uh, with regards to Gore-Tex, now if you don't know what Gore-Tex is or the benefits of it, then please do see our Gore-Tex specific video as this should answer any questions that you have and explain why it's different to other jackets. 
this Revit Legacy jacket is available right now from Sports Bike Shop. Thanks for watching.